Well, two of those changes picked themselves with both fullbacks being out, one through injury and one through yellow card accumulation. But the big decision that Coach Greg Vanny had to make was in midfield, who's going to partner Uri Rozelle. He went with Edwin Surreal to give them a little bit more defensive stability. And that spine includes a goalkeeper, Roman Berkey, center back, Joaquin Nielsen. They're two in midfield, Edward Leuven and Jabalo Blum. And then up top, Shao Klaus coming back into the team. And they've given themselves a bit of a window at the top of the standings. It is St. Louis City who get us underway here at Dignity Health Sports Park, attacking from left to right in the red strip. Lovely turn from Blum in the middle of midfield. And Leuven both have the ability to play past the street. Stroud with a very good run. Flag says down, ball played across. A dinner inside, scores! A super break from midfield. Stroud just caught that backline napping. And Adinarin continuing his red-hot form, although the Galaxy protests continue, they felt he was offside. You'll see him coming to the screen on that left-hand side there, just drifts to a central spot, untracked run, and then it's almost as if the Galaxy just shut off. The reaction to that second phase as he gets ready to play this ball into the box is just really lazy and lethargic, but give full credit to Samuel Adinarin because he puts himself into a central area, does well with the first touch, and from that distance, he's never missing the back of the net. St. Louis City up 1-0 here at Dignity Health Park. Pooch. Cuevas has continued his run. Good play here from the Galaxy. Cuevas has got Jovalich making a good run. Jovalich had it on target. And it's wide up, Perky. It's a save the goalkeeper should make. What a ball this is. Cuevas does so well. We talked about St. Louis SC having success in wide areas. Well, this time it's the opposite end. No pressure on the ball from Cuevas, but what a ball in that is. Puts it into a perfect area for Jovalich to attack. Cuevas. AZ now with a little bit of space to run into Adinarin. His 1v1 central, if he can find him, Adinarin. Going a little bit to the left now, AZ going down the middle. And instead he's gone for Klaus. Klaus with an opportunity, through the legs of the goalkeeper. And that is as good of a transition goal as you'll see all season. St. Louis City just carved LA Galaxy open. They've doubled the lead in spectacular fashion. Defending from St. Louis SC. Having to defend in their own box. AZ is alert here, and then he just starts a transition moment. He's so calm and composed. He could have gone down there on the initial challenge, but he stays on his feet, and now he has runners on either side of him. A dinner on the left, Klaus on the right-hand side, and he opts to go to the right-hand side, and it's a good ball in. It leads Klaus, it makes his mind up for him. All he does to do is just keep the strike low on the ground first time. And for a player getting his first start since April, this is the way that you give your striker confidence as he gets on the score sheet here, the double lead for his side. Pooch. That one does get through to Boyd. We're waiting for somebody on that far side. Jovalich in behind! And again, it's right at the goalkeeper. Perky gets it at the second attempt. Costa wide open on that left, he can, if he can find him. Ooh, gets through. Yeah, he's still got by Watts. Costa trying to come inside. Ball play for Boyd. Real opportunity. Big save from Berkey. He's got to do better with this finish. Roman Berkey does well to stay big until the last moment. Little deflect. Costa. The defensive header by Klaus. Edge of the penalty area. Rosal actually caught it well. Boyd catches that one well. Appeals for a handball and a dinner in. They're surrounding the referee, Philip Juric, and he waves them away. We're going to look at the controversy here. As it looks like it comes off the arm there of Samuel Adenarin. Is that far enough away for you? Jovalich and Sharp, Billy Sharp, who's on the bench, have both scored penalties this season. Well, the Galaxy, but it's Ricky Pooch who's picked up the ball and they have a lifeline. Galaxy have a penalty. Big moment in the match. Ricky Pooch against Roman Berkey. Pooch to get LA Galaxy back in this one. And he does. Superbly hit. Berkey went the right way. Might have got a hand to it as well. It doesn't matter. Galaxy are on the board. They've cut the deficit in half. They're back in it. Points to the spot, and Ricky Pooch steps up confident as you like. Puts his laces through it. Roman Berkey gets it the right way. But there's just too much pace and power on the strike. Keeping plays alive, but then. Ooh, he's off. And it is a second yellow. And that's why we go back to that decision to get a yellow for the handball. It is St. Louis City up a goal, but now down a man. Side, he scores a goal in the first half, but this challenge just comes in so late, and it's a very clear. 
decision for the referee to make there. As you mentioned, it's, it's the second yellow. The first yellow was awarded because of the handball. Second half, I thought he played a little bit higher on the pitch, which was, which was beneficial for himself and the team. In the first half, he found moments that almost playing as a deep line number 10, coming central a lot, trying to pick out passes and trying to find the run of Jovalich. Jovalich had a couple. Cuevas. Michael takes a deflection. Ricky Peach makes a good run in. And the opportunity from Fagundes. Good hit. Good save from Berkey. St. Louis doing a, having a tough time shifting bodies. Marquette. Marking it can't get out to that wide area. Cuevas has time to pick his head up, put the ball into a dangerous area. And then as a center back, you can't gamble. Nielsen wants to hang a leg out there, but you don't know about those runs coming in from your blind side, so you can't fully commit to it. In the end, it falls to Fagundes. They brought on a man who can conjure up some magic from set piece situations. Across was a far post. Header across it in. Show for the final touch. We talked about his goal scoring ability in England. Fox in the box, they call him. Billy Sharp has struck again. 2 2 and game on late on here at Dignity Health Sports Park. Galaxy utilizing everything at their disposal. This time it's a set piece opportunity. Good service in the box from Fagundes. But it's the movement inside the box. A poacher's finish from Billy Sharp. When we rose up, the back post puts him to a dangerous area. But as a striker, you're always just fishing. You're always just hunting for scraps. The referee's book. Did he go for goal? Gets his cross in. Good defending from Avinga. Mechanic the fullback again. He goes for goal. And Bond hangs on. And that will be the final action. A breathless game here today at Dignity Health Sports Park.